Hello and welcome to the unboxing of Flames of War 4th Edition Monty's Desert Rats box. Now the box, uh, it is British, the unit, it is for the bid war 1942-43. to It contains eight plastic tanks and two guns. If you look on the back, it shows you the contents of the box, which gives you your unit cards. You get five Grant tanks, three cruiser tanks, and two guns. Now, here they are showing the 17-pounder anti-tank guns, but they could, you have a choice, they could be 25-pounder guns. You also get a copy of the Flames of War mid-war rulebook. Now, it also says here on the lower left-hand corner, about the source book, the Desert Rat source book, that you could use in order to use the contents of this package to play 4th edition Flames of War. However, if you are not playing the 4th edition Flames of War, you could still certainly use uh, the contents of this box to go and play an earlier edition. Okay, what's inside? Well, we have three sprues of cruiser tanks. Again, uh, fairly detailed. They do give you choices, uh, whether you have the CS, the close support version, the two-pounder gun version, and the six-pounder gun version. So you get three cruisers uh, as a result. You do have the desert skirts here uh, as well. You have choices as to open hatch or closed hatch. You also have five Grant sprues. Again, it's the same yellow plastic that you saw the cruiser sprues in. And I'm just tip turning one face up, one face down, so you guys can have an idea of what it looks like. So in this case here, with the uh, Grant tank, uh, that's the British designation for it. It's the US M3 medium tank. The British did purchase these uh, from the United States because they needed to have a tank that had better armor and a better gun to take on the German Panzers with. And the thing is about the Grand Tank, you have a 75 millimeter hull gun uh, there. You have a secondary weapon, the 37 millimeter gun that is in the Grant turret. Now, it also must be noted that for this uh, sprue here of the Grant, you also have the turret that you can make the Lee version of the tank. You also have a little bits of stowage there. Again, you can customize your Grant tank as a result. Now, you also have the two sprues of the uh, guns. Uh, they use the same carriage with the turntable here for the 25-pounder gun artillery piece, which can also serve as a direct fire anti-tank gun as well. You have the 17-pounder barrel, which uh, was not there for El Alamein, but it was there for the fighting in Tunisia because it was developed to take out Tiger tanks. And it was devastating in its own right. Now, you also have the barrel here of the earlier version of the 25-pounder field gun, which would be totally okay for El Alamein. Uh, let's see, over here on this side of the sprue, you have the muzzle brake that's put on the 25-pounder, which again, that would allow you to use this sprue for late war. Uh, games, think Operation Market Garden, think Normandy fighting, and uh, whatnot. It's also noticed, nice to know there's a few shells there that uh, can be used that you could put that anywhere on your base to, again, give it an individual appeal. Up next, we have got bases, two bases with six holes in there. This is to accommodate the crew, but uh, with the crew that you have, which I'll drag out in a minute, you also have some... Uh, tops that you can cover the unwanted holes 
in here. Now this also includes the Tank Commander Sprue as well, which again, you can pick whichever commander you want if you want a commander with your to go with your tank. Okay, you also have your two sprues of the crew to go with it, to go with your 25 pounder. And you may notice that there are six crew. One ends up sitting on the carriage of the gun and the others would go into the holes of the base plate, your large base that you have. And again, uh, it's hard plastic. It, the detail is pretty crisp. I would say that the rod here is a little bit bendy. Uh, that's a, that's kind of tricky when you're working with plastic sprues. Then it can be a little bit bendy like that. I'm assuming this is some kind of a ramrod uh, for the gun. Now both sprues are like that. You also have your unit cards to go with it. Now, if you have the element L Alamine starter set, you already got a few of these cards, but it is convenient. You've got the 17 25 pounder any tank troop, the 25 pounder field troop, the Crusader 2 and 3, Crusader 2. Uh, you have the Grant as an HQ formation as well. You also have the L Alamine. Desert Rat cover art for the British, which gives you the movement phase choices uh, that you have for your troops. Nice handy little reminder. Uh, you also have here a 7th Armored Division. You have formations that you can choose. So if you don't have the 7th Armored Desert Rats book, this will give you a little bit of some choices that you have. It also tells you what your limits are, how many of each you can take. It also conveniently shows you uh, the serial number, the code for the box in question. It talks about formation support and allied support as well for future releases. Looking at these uh, cards, it's based off of the Team Yankee idea. Uh, on the back, it also gives you the point values and an explanation of the special rules. Very quick, very easy to use. I think this is a positive thing uh, for that. Next up, we got two decals. And for that, they give you the choice of either the 7th Armored Division or the 1st Armored Division. Uh, it's interesting to note that you're only getting the square uh, insignia as opposed to triangle and circle. That's okay. Uh, this is meant uh, to be a basic starter set in a way. And uh, certainly you have uh, more decals here than you have tanks. So if you ended up getting an El Alamein starter set, which I did do a review of, you can add these decals on there to it. You also get the instruction guide on how to put together the gun, the trailer, the Grant, and the Crusader as well. If you're still having some questions, uh, you can still, they do give you the detail, they do give you the website that you can go to and check things out for that. Uh, last but not least, uh, if I had a quibble about the uh, box, it is the rule book, not the rule book in and of itself. Uh, the rules, it's pretty much covered. I mean, you have, you have your rules, you have your missions, okay? It is centered on the Desert War, which is really Battlefront's fourth edition, first release. Uh, next year, they are going to be going on to the Eastern Front, but... Uh, here it's pretty detailed as far as how you can start. It gives you an overview of the war. Uh, my quibble is looking at the condition of the book in that I wish Battlefront would have put the rule books in plastic bags because the, when the rule book is rubbing up against the model sprues, the rule book is taking some damage to that. That's the only quibble that I have. 
uh, for this set. So, is it a good deal? I certainly think so. I think for any beginning uh, player, this is a great way to get in and build up the core of a Desert Rats Force. Of course, there's going to be other releases like the Honey and then another troop of 25 pounders, the anti-tank guns. You can get more Grants and more Crusaders uh, and then even the Motor Platoon. So there, there are other options that are coming that have not yet been released as of this time. So this is my review in a nutshell. I hope that benefited you guys and... Goodbye, and God bless, and take care.